Have you ever wondered why the therapeutic relationship is very important in、uh, cognitive behavioral therapy and counseling in general? Well, you're at the right place. So、uh, this is taken from my notes regarding、uh, cognitive behavioral therapy in action,、uh, chapter three, the therapeutic relationship. So Holforth and Castengay in 2005 reported that the positive therapeutic alliance was found to be a predictor of outcome measures, treatment length, treatment approaches, and psychotherapy outcomes.、Uh, treatment length, by the way, meaning shorter treatment lengths. Colin Burr in 2003 argued that the therapeutic alliance was under acknowledged in CBT, whereas Lazarus in Also, two thousand three stated that the therapeutic process or transference were only important if it were to improve awareness of cognitive and emotional responses regarding therapy. Sanderson and Bruce in two thousand seven stated that barriers to the therapeutic alliance included the lack of trust and insecurity, which eventually, or which then led to poor treatment responses. Disputing symptoms do not necessarily have an impact on the therapeutic alliance, according to Witted et al. 2010. A strong working alliance encouraged clients to take risks, and was necessary in cognitive behavioral therapy intervention for changing cognitions and beliefs, according to Rave, Castengay, and Goldfield 1993. The therapeutic alliance strength did not actually predict therapeutic outcomes, according to. Kaufman and colleagues in 2005. The literature, however, seems to suggest that the therapy mechanism was a better predictor of outcome compared to the therapeutic alliance. There was just no evidence that the therapeutic allegiance mediated treatment outcome. This statement, however, might be a bit too stark of a conclusion, and it doesn't factor in the quality of the therapeutic alliance. So yeah, as you can see, there's like various、uh, variables at play, and it may or may not have an effect. So moving on, cognitive behavioral therapy and the therapeutic alliance. Cognitive behavioral therapy specifically was associated with treatment adherence and enhanced the alliance, but the alliance did not necessarily predict、um, outcome, according to Loeb and colleagues, two thousand and five. Clients who perceived their therapists with higher connection had a greater reduction in sleep problems compared to a confronting or critical therapist, according to Costan, Tino, and colleagues, two thousand and seven. Older adults with hoarding disorders stated that the therapeutic relationship was the most helpful part in their treatment, according to Ayers and colleagues, two thousand and twelve. Face-to-face -face cognitive behavioral therapy was actually said to be more beneficial, helpful, meaningful, and positive compared to computerized cognitive behavioral therapy, according to Giga, 2013. Cognitive behavioral therapy in older adults through the therapeutic alliance facilitated resource building, cognitive restructuring, effect tolerance, and socializing, according to Haya et al. 2004. Empathy was seen as the main factor in helping to bring about change, according to Steckley, two thousand six. Hosefowitz and Myron, two thousand five, claimed that CBT treated clients as equals in a collaborative relationship, and that this can help with collaboration in building bonds, setting goals, and agreeing on tasks necessary for alliance building, according to Holtfer and Gaston Gray, two thousand and five. Techniques and relationships are not necessarily mutually exclusive, but they work together. Carl Rogers in 1957 stated that variables that led to the development and maintenance of the therapeutic alliance included non-possessive warmth, positive regard, empathy, and genuineness. Cognitive behavioral therapy patients rated therapists higher on accurate empathy. Interpersonal skills and self congruence compared to other therapies. So I guess the main takeaway message is that the therapeutic alliance is somewhat important in helping to move the therapy session forward, but it does not necessarily mean that it is the the main、um, factor. As in, perhaps how shall I word it that.、Uh, Bad therapeutic alliance would be something that would hinder the the therapeutic process, whereas a good therapeutic alliance is just one factor that helps to move the process along. And then the other factors, which are of course more important, is 
the the mechanism of the the counseling session itself. Thank you very much, and yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Thank you very much. Bye.